Hello and welcome to live Candlepin Bowling from Putnam Street Lanes, Fitchburg, Mass. We're on 7 instead of 10. They're blaring music. The bowling's keeping things relatively indistinguishable. So hopefully that'll stay and I don't get copyright flagged. I recorded four episodes of Watch Me Suck at Bowling here, so you're only going to see eight games. So it's game one for you, five for me. And hello, Jack. Now let's get started. Welcome to Putnam Street. We start with eight. And some Leonard Skinner. Another squeaker for eight. Barely acceptable so far. That nine helps. And if they need lane six, then we're going to move it. Another eight. Let's move you a little closer, slightly. There we go. Hey, after four frames, we're at Larry Bird. Putnam Street action, save that one for 10. And this is the halftime report. Half times we recite, final games we show. Eight, eight, nine, then another eight and a 10, we are at 43. So under IC, and I repeat this stuff because we jump in and out of these or have never seen Candlepin. According to ICBA records of casual league bowlers, and I have actually seen records of casual league bowlers and it backs everything up 80 to 100 is average skill so if we hit 80 good if we hit 100 i'm happy remember though getting lots of hundreds here remember it's putnam street but there's days that we barely get any and there's been days we don't get 100 at all well, let's see what happens
ticket now. Unfortunately, that log, so it's four. Could have been a really good game, but that second ball in the previous frame was lobbed. We need six in this final frame to make acceptable. Decent game. That lob on that that lob on that lob on that frame ruined it, though. Could add a ninety, but. All right, let's see if we can match. Last time we did this, we matched twice. Oh, if I got a sixty-nine, I would have matched and won a free game. But I'd rather have the 84. Game number two for you and six for me. There's not enough bowling going on to turn up the music. It's time for El Stinko the bonus ball. Let's see what it gives us. Putnam Street action made it a decent six.
And we got eight. The action's dying off a little bit. That I don't like. Because then the music gets loud. wait for the wood to settle down or else it's a foul if we hit it. That couldn't have been more textbook. So it's time for El Stinko again. Let's see what this one gives us. It's Kaleri minus his pinky toe. Decent six fill Got the 10. Jetliner. I can't remember the name of the band. Not definitely not first in 70s rock. Spare one, eight and two, first ball knocking down six. Spare again in three, ten and four, first six in ball one there, and an eight. Or a 58 and Noel Stink of the bonus ball. 58. Not indicative of how it might end. For better or for worse. behind the long run. Which means, once again, it's time for a stink of the bonus ball. Score hit spare by the There we go.
66. There's the leave Dave Madlis says is nearly impossible to get, but I get it almost every time I play. We're still sitting for it. Considering the channel you're watching. Right where it had to go, just didn't work. Yeah, we might have to start muting. Got a nine. Comes the great collapse. That's a five. Eight two to hit middle of that. And the great collapse. This was a craptacular second half. Sucked, sucked, sucked. What could have been? It's a 94. If I got a little higher, it might have matched. Game seven for me, three for you. Hello, DVAP and Smith McLaughlin. Welcome to the show. Game seven for me, three for you, because I did the first four for Watch Me Suck. Start with nine. And the great collapse continues with seven.
leave the king behind for nine. Well, there's the Kaliri. Let's say hi to Bob. And this is the easiest house to get rid of them, but it's still not easy. Still in the great collapse at seven. Post for eight. Halftime report nine, seven, nine, seven, and eight. We're barely alive with 40. Just barely. Hello, Smith McLaughlin and Brian Silouis. This is not letting me scroll down. I see you both. Needed that spare. This place is thinning out. The music is getting more obvious, so we might have to start muting. Anyway, it's time for El Stinko the bonus ball. Let's see what we get. Thanks for the leave. Putnam Street Action saved it. Crappy leave, but a seven. Curse of the fill, that's a seven. Surprise, a 10. Last ball was a good shot. I think it would get the 10. Pulling out of a nosedive. Two frames to get six. Well, there's Kaliri again. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, 
they're done. They're taking, they're taking their music box away. They should have got an eight out of it. Yeah, the music group is leaving. They ended with This Is Love by White Snake. All right, eight to hit middle of average. Double pinochle again, but some wood. If we aim for the middle, maybe we can get it. The middle, itty bitty void. And we end with a crap seven. All right. Sucked, 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 sucked. But we still got 89. In spite of all that suck. And the magic number is 108 again. Yeah, I think after we met, the last time we are here and we matched twice, I think we're not going to match for a while. I'm not even sure if I have one of, half the two uh, free game cards on me. Alrighty. Game number eight for me, four for you. <laughs> oh, really? Bruce, I've already gone to Lundenberg Pittsburgh three times. Yeah, the difference between the Shakes. Yeah, if you don't mind. No. That's when I think of the bowling god's middle finger. We got ten. Just needed one of those two to make it decent. Two made it better, so that's nine. with some lucky pin action. And that's an eight.
a nine. Nine again. And that's the halftime. We got 10, 9, 8, 9, 9, or a 45. Oh, DVAP 234. Nopo, that's eight. Got a Putnam Street 8. Two frames to get 10 for minimal acceptance. Welcome to Mason's. I got one of them for eight, so we need two. not been the best of days. 
seven. Sucked. No marks. I guess, yeah, it is what it is. Okay, yeah, see what happens. What do we get for a match? 67. I'll take the 85 instead. Oh, looks like we got a neighbor. Yeah, I got a neighbor now. Not, a, not the most ideal, but this is, we're making do with what we have here. Actually, I could put you. That ain't the best, and I'm gonna cross over. But there we go. Game nine for me, five for you. That's a start. So now we got two well stinko the bonus balls. You know what, this is kind of I'm gonna put it on the lane. It's gonna vibrate. It's gonna be an extra vibration because you're on the lane with me. Two well stink of the bonus balls and multiple times I have a strike here. Did not see that pin there. Oh, worst case scenario, it's a seven. Yeah, in this case, we got to go for something easy. Or go for the hardest one, that's an eight, Phil. <laughs> the eight's what we're getting. So the first frame's an 18. Up in the 
Street. is the fill, and another 8, then a 10, and a 9. So far we're at 53. There, straighten out a little bit. Not indicative as to how it will end. a little lucky while you don't aim for the center. And a nine. Three frames to get ten. So close, we got nine. And so close to three digits. You can't say there's any sucky frames, just only one good, one mark. Oh, we got 97. Looking for the match. So close, I needed a 102 to match. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, gate 10 for me and six for you. I still have the two when I matched. This is what this is a coupon for a free game. When that number matches the random number, you win one of them. Last time we were here, we matched twice. Gotta remember to use one. And ten. Okay, I've tried five pin. No, that's a that's a Canadian thing. If I ever go to Canada some. Who knows? Game 10? Here we go. This game is available in Canada in the Maritime area. In front of the areas like that. Stink with a bonus ball. Let's see what it gives us. El Stinko stinks for the leave, and we got seven. Seventeen first grade. that pin would barely wobble because of magnets. So again, we get two else think of the bonus balls, and again, I, I have double straight here a few times, well, several times. Remember the channel you're watching, so it's not a huge number, but several times. Double 
King remains for the nine. We are at halftime. Again, as I say, half is not always indicative of the outcome. Spare. Then a nine. First ball knocking down seven. Then an eight. Then a strike. Then a nine. The two balls knocking down eight. We're at 61. Hello, sports fanatic. Hopefully you come back and enjoy the rest. Say something. Week seven. I was aiming for the other pin. All right. How many digits? I need that many. Notice they don't know how to play the game. That ball went in the gutter and they're counting it. Whatever. They're playing for funsies, who the hell cares, right? Right. Anyway. That frame sucked. We had a 105. We have not got too many hundreds today. A little subpar. Now if I got a 61, I could have got a free game. I want my 105. Game 11. 
seven for you. Sometimes give it, sometimes take it away. Another ten. Two moment. That's three tens in a row. On this channel, that's a microwave turkey dinner. And so far, I'm bowling a perfect game. And now that I said that, we're going to have a candle pin. As long as you knock down all the pins in your turn, it's a perfect game. Whether it takes all three balls every time or not. In 2019, somebody actually got a 100 perfect game. Tens in all ten frames. The dream has never been realized to 300. Ralph Sam and Chris Sargent Cole, the world record 245 for the world's highest candlepin score. the perfect game and also say goodbye to a decent frame. That's a seven. Out, leaving the kingpin for now. Half time. Three tens. Then the seven to ruin the perfect game. And then the nine, so it didn't matter. We're at 46.
comes the great collapse at the set. on the lane and miss it entirely. On the left. That's a nine. <laughs> sucked, sucked, sucked. No marks. 85. I got a hundred, I would have matched. Last game. Time for the, am I gonna blow it? For an MGM Springfield, two to one. This will be the game that I blow. Five to one, it'll be, uh, Run the mill, average to slightly blow, to a slightly on the lower end of average. 11 to 1, better than average, better. And 36 to 1, 100 plus. And that is Putnam Street Lanes. And those numbers are way worse anywhere else. Two 
card on the right. Singing the most ball. Someone's telling me you got a 10, but they're not first in the rule. The pin fell as the sweep was in action. All action is dead once the, once the sweep is in action, which is why everyone hates automatic scoring because people get robbed a lot. Two L Stinkos. We have multiple. We've done multiple double strikes here. Oh, they moved him over to lane eight. And I hate to say it, hate to say it, but you're pretty much not going to see much. It's last game. Seven Phil. Kingpin for nine. Ball's knocking down seven. And then an eight and a spare. So far we have 53 with El Stinko. Putman Street going to save that one. Putman Street eight. So that makes a half of 61.
so easy to get the half Worcester when eight of its friends are there. So hard when it's the only two left. Not bad. We ended well. One sucky frame though. Sucky frame right there. Decent fills throughout. And that'll be it from Putnam Street Lanes, Fitchburg, Mass. This is George F551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.